Using this completely free AI tool, you're able to upload any image like this shoe sale promo and it will automatically add this pretty cool effect where it's zooming in and out. And here's another example of a backpack. Or perhaps you're a Goku fan, check out the effect that it's added, making it more dramatic. Let's get started with the first tool. Hey, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, you're going to learn five free and pretty useful AI tools worth trying today. As you saw at the start of this video, we've got these animated photos and using this AI tool, you're able to to upload a static image and then it will isolate things such as this item here, the shoes in this case, we've got headings and text. And the very tool that can do this is called Layer Pix Converter. Simply grab your image, drag and drop it to the window, let it process, and right away it's added the animation to the image. On the left, what you can do is tweak the settings in terms of the panning, zooming, and how much effect you want to insert into the actual image. Starting off at the top, you can see animation length. You can increase it by six seconds there, so it's slower, or you can make it go a lot faster, but three seconds is good. Now we can go into animation style where you can select the style of the animation going horizontally, wide circle, you know, circular motion or tall circle and vertical. Next, you can add or decrease the amount of motion. At the moment, we've got it dialed into more. Otherwise you can select regular or less. Inside focus point, you can select whether to focus on the center of the image or closer or further away. We've also got edge dilation, which doesn't have much of an effect with this image in particular. There's also advanced editor where you can dial the settings even further. We'll use this backpack as another example, but going into depth map, you can play around with the settings further. Once you're ready to save your animated photo, simply head to share and you're given a number of options. So you can save to your device as a GIF, a MP4, even a Facebook 3D photo. So whether you're looking to create ads, promo banners, social media content, or simply want to turn a boring photo into an animated photo, simply use LayerPix Converter. Next up, we've got a five-in-one tool called Goblin Tools. The first of its tools that I'll run through is called Magic To Do. And what you do is simply enter all your to-dos and items that you want to get done for the day or week. Let's say your first to-do is a Zoom meeting with Colin at 12 p.m. I'll add that. And first of all, what it's done is it's added it to the list, including a relevant emoji, as you can see. And where the magic happens is when you click on the wand. When you click it, it'll break it down into smaller task like this. First we've got set up Zoom on a computer or mobile device, then open Zoom app or website, join the meeting, enter meeting ID, enter the password, test the microphone webcam, wait for Colin to join the meeting at 12 p.m. On the right you'll see these chilies right? If you click it it will indicate how much breaking down do you need. So the more you break it down, you can see the more tasks that will end up having as a result. We've got check calendar for upcoming meetings then locate meeting with Colin, confirm the meeting at 12 and it goes on. Let's try this with another item like cook tacos for dinner. We'll put the spice in this level somewhere in the middle. I'll click plus, it's added it in and I'll click the magic button. And here are the subtasks for cooking tacos for dinner. In the realistic world, some of these these subtasks may not make sense, but if you're going on something like a Zoom meeting, there may be a few things that you might miss out on. So it's a good reminder just to at least go through this checklist. Of course, you can add your own subtasks by going into the actual to do and then clicking on add subtasks and then adding your task here. Another cool tool on Goblin is the formalizer where you can turn the spicy thoughts into classy ones or vice versa. So I'll enter some text right here and just very quickly, I'll read it out. It's not the number of tasks on our to-do list that we check off that determines how successful or unsuccessful our week was, but rather that we are always choosing to move forward towards our goal. Now, let's say I want to formalize it or deformalize it. We can select either or we can add more waffle or more words or unwaffle it. Let's first formalize it. And here it is in formal language. The metric of success or failure in our weekly endeavors is not contingent upon the quantity of tasks. So you get the gist of it. Now, if we want to deformalize it, and make it more casual, more fun, we can simply click on deformalize. And here it is, the amount of stuff we get done in a week doesn't determine if we did good or bad. It's more about making progress towards our goals every day. Now let's add some waffle. And this one definitely sounds more casual. You can see, hey there, have you ever noticed that it's not about the number of tasks we complete in a week? Now, if we unwaffle it, it has summarized this sentence into this short sentence. We've got success in a week is driven by progress towards our goal. Not 
a number of completed tasks. Next, we've got the compiler tool where you simply brain dump and type what you want to do for the day, for the week or whatever. In this case, we've got meditate for 30 minutes, you know, from Monday to Friday. We've also got record at least one video, run a few errands and here and there. Let's click on turn into task and basically we'll break it down into to do's. And here it is. So meditate each morning from Monday to Friday, work out for 30 minutes, plan for the week, pay utility bills. We've got go to post office to return an item, buy milk, bread and eggs and attend a meeting with the accountant on Wednesday. And that's Goblin Tools in a nutshell. And as a side note, you may be thinking that you can do all this in ChatGPT already. That is true, but some people just don't know how to use ChatGPT and they don't know how to prompt GPT to spit out things like this and compile and judge and create to-dos such as these. So by simply going to Goblin Tools, you can use and take advantage of these tools. Next up, we've got Microsoft Bing's Image Creator. What you can do with this AI tool is convert text into images like these examples here. Simply enter your prompt here, such as a computer from the 90s in the style of Vaporwave, and we'll click on Create. And here are the results. We've got a computer from the 90s in Vaporwave style. When you first sign up, you'll get 25 credits, which they call a boost. And when you enter your prompt, it'll generate the images a lot faster. However, if you do run out, then it will simply generate it slower. It is is very similar to other AI image generator tools such as Midjourney without the confusing commands that you would get in Midjourney, which is a Discord channel. Whereas with Microsoft Bing's image creator, you've got this friendly user interface that you can enter. But in my opinion, the images that are generated are not as high quality as you would get you know, with something like Midjourney. But for a free tool and one that's really convenient to use, this one's pretty good. The next AI tool is called AI Acoustics. And with this tool, you're able to create studio quality voice. So in order to use this, you simply drag and drop your audio file. It could be a WAV file, an MP3 file or whatnot. And then it will clean the audio. So if you have background noise, it will basically filter that out. To best show you how it works, they've got a few demos where you can select between sports, audio, TV, movie, historical, city noise, radio, or an interview. We'll select city noise noise and you'll see the difference and hear the difference more so we'll click on play hey everyone we're currently in rush our Berlin city and down below you'll see improve audio and let's say we want enhanced medium you notice that the car noises and the city noises have kind of disappeared so I'll play it now 4 p.m. full on traffic to test our AI speech enhancement algorithms which if you turn on then probably all the background noise the tram, the car noises and all. And back to original. The city noise which happened around us will be turned off to have. You could either upload your own audio or start the live recording right on your web browser. This tool proves to be really handy, especially if you recorded in an environment where it was out of your control. You've got city noises, you've got background noises and things simply that are unwanted. And last but definitely not least, because I've got more compilations like this in the description box below, and I'll share some after this video, but this final one is called Opus Clip. It'll help you turn your long form videos into shorter clips, making it ideal for places like TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube Shorts. Let's say, for example, I wanna get some short clips out of Angela Duckworth's Grit TED Talk. I'll just click on this, click on share, copy the link, head back to Opus Clip, paste it in, and click on Get Clips. And what it's done is it's located those key moments from that TED talk. It's not only going to give you these short clips, it will also give you a score out of 100 and justify why it chose this moment in particular. It says this video has an attention grabbing hook, informative content and inspires viewers to cultivate grit for success. In addition, it says it is well structured and complete with personal antidotes and empirical evidence. No significant areas for improvement were found. More importantly, let me show you what it cut out. I'll click play. In all those very different contexts, one characteristic emerged as a significant predictor of success. It was grit. Grit is sticking with your future day in, day out, not just for the week, not just for the month, but for years. And that's just a little clip of what Opus Clip can do. As you may have noticed, there were also subtitles at the bottom 
right here. A few other examples that it extracted, if you keep scrolling down below, it's extracted a section called The Surprising Truth About IQ and Academic Success. But if you do want to edit a particular clip that you like, simply click on Edit Clip. And now you can do things like highlight particular text. So that'll take and reflect on the actual captions that you see. Going into Preferences, you can change the particular highlight colors. You can add an intro title and change the layout settings to fill, fit or split. Select between upper or lowercase text and even add emojis to the captions. And once you're done, you can simply click on save and compile. All right, friends, and those are the five free AI tools to give a try today. Let me know in the comments which of these are your favorites or which you found pretty cool. I'd love to know. In the meantime, I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next. So this one here or this one here, if you haven't watched it yet. See you there and do take care.